So on this channel, we go through everything you need to know about moving to Des Moines. In this video, we go through all there is to know about Johnston. We just pulled into the Johnson neighborhood that we're gonna to touch on, and this is what we're gonna kinda of highlight is new construction. So we're in the very, very northwest side of Johnston. And what that means is your commute is a long ways if you're going downtown. If you're not driving downtown, no big deal. A lot of businesses that are coming out west and putting their home offices in the western suburbs, but just keep in mind, if you are going downtown, it's gonna be a pretty long drive. And to get to, uh, say, an interstate, you know, for interstate access, it's a ways away. And when you start factoring in drive times, even just to get to an interstate, uh, to get to some of those major roads, you're definitely out here uh, pretty far. But on the on the flip side, you're in a quiet area, quiet development, minus, minus the, uh, the construction. construction right now. Yeah, the traffic here, you're, I mean, you don't hear any traffic besides people that are coming in and out of your neighborhood. So that's a huge plus, uh, especially folks that have families, um, sidewalks in all these neighborhoods. That's becoming a theme of me paying attention to. But yeah, I mean, these houses are gonna range anywhere from, I'd say 300 up to 500,000. Um, and you're gonna get your three, two, four, two, four, four, um, those, you know, that range and square foot probably usually over over 1600 square feet. Um, you might get some bigger, your, your higher price ones are gonna get, get closer to 3000 square foot. And this is just something that I've seen but there are certain buyers where they will come into an area like this, they'll see these homes that were built, um, you know, say 10 years ago, up to maybe five years ago, but they'll see these new homes that are being built uh, kind of in their peripheral, right? And they'll say, well, let's go take a look at those. So this is one of those areas where if you wanna live in it, you can also have brand new construction, but you can also have existing construction that goes back, say 10 years or so. Yep. One of the downsides, and I always like to try to look at the downsides of places just so, everything doesn't look like bright and shiny rainbows, rose colored glasses, is the trees in these neighborhoods are almost non-existent. Like this is probably the biggest tree that I've seen in the neighborhood. Yeah. So keep in mind, you know, you aren't getting your house shaded. You're not having um, trees, the, the, the trees are, I mean, they're almost non-existent. So just keep that in mind if that's something that's important to you. Some people feel like trees are a nuisance and they cause them more financial troubles than they're worth. I totally can see that. Some people feel like more trees feels like more of a community and a place where the kids can hang out and put swings on the trees and blah, blah, blah. This area is sort of known for being, I would say the older area of Johnson. And for that, these single family residential homes, we're looking anywhere from just, I mean, just right around 200 all the way up to say 250, 260. Um, I showed a home here recently just down the street uh, that was going for 270 that had renovations had been flipped recently. And this is an area that, am I right to think investors are yep. so you, over here? Yep, you can, it'll happen. So you're not gonna flip many of these houses and make them rentals, um, but you will have the, some of them hit the market that are very dated, very, I mean, need significant work when you buy a house for 150 because it needs everything, you put $70,000 into it and sell right. it for 280, like that's a win for an investor and that 280 house now is gonna make some family very happy. So it's a basically a brand new property for 280. But you can have the possibility, some of these houses in this area have a really large lot. Um, I showed a house to a buyer very recently that they wanted to have Johnson Schools, but they wanted to have some sort of a, you know, a bigger lot. Um, obviously new construction is not going to get you that for under, you know, $300,000 in some ways. And that could be one of those things that even if someone doesn't want an older home, but they want the yard, they want the lot, this could be an area that, that offers that. When you're in this location in Johnston, you're very close to Sailorville Lake. If you are a big hiker or you're a big boater and you want to have a really short commute to Sailorville Lake, like this Johnston area is a fantastic place to look. Des Moines is not huge, you know, six, seven hundred thousand people in the metro. Like, it's not gargantuan, but it's still, there's a lot of pockets that we haven't got to. Right. We probably don't have on schedule. So if you think, if, if there's somewhere that you are thinking about moving to, reach out to us. We'll either do a video on it, or we'll just live stream with you sometime and sh like give you an idea of what the neighborhood looks like. You know, are there sidewalks? Are there not sidewalks? Are there good parks? Are there bike trails? Like, what matters to you? That's, I mean, that's why we're putting this channel together. 